Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the problem A and B of educational code courses round 125. So I have already made a video on the problem C of this round, so you can check it out. Uh, in this video, I will just discuss the uh, problem A and B and also the short analysis of this contest. So the contest was uh, not uh, equally balanced, meaning the first three problems were uh, really easy, as you can see the submissions. And from the full problem, the uh, difficulty increased exponentially. And this is what uh, is not fair in some of the cases. Okay, you can just see the uh, submissions of the first three problems. The submission for the C problem is like 7000 approx. And for D, it is seven times less, means it is just 1000 submissions. So, yeah. Uh, difficulty was not well balanced. So first of all, we will discuss the problem number A, which was a very easy problem in which yeah, you have to uh, uh, you have to uh, you have to do some operations, and in one operation, what you can do is you have to move from the point zero comma zero to up you can move to a point another point such that the uh, distance between that two point is a integer means the value of this is a integer. Okay. So you have to basically tell the minimum number of operations required to move the chip from point 0, 0, to x, 1. So there are three cases. Okay, the three cases are if 0, 0, if the final point is also 0, 0, like in this case, then zero operations are required. If the final point is such a point such that its distance is already an integer, means its uh, uh, Euclidean distance is already an integer. For example, in the case of 8 and 6, it is already already integer means 10. So the, only one operation is required. Other case, in, in the other case, the uh, operations required are 2. Now the, the thing is why 2? Why only 2? Why not 3? Why not 4? Because in the first operation, we can simply grow from 0, 0 to 9, 0. And then from 9, 0, we can simply go to 9, 15. Means first we can move through x axis, then we can move through y axis. It is a very easy and when we will move from uh, moving x axis then uh, then obviously the Euclid distance will be integer and when we move along y axis only then also the this distance is integer only so we can just uh, three answers are there 0 1 and 2 you can see my submission here uh, okay someone sent me a message I will check it after the video so I have just checked that if this particular if uh, x and y both are zero, then zero. If this particular distance is an integer, means it is a perfect square, then one. Otherwise, yeah, I have to output two, like that. Okay. Now the problem number B. B was also uh, a easy problem, uh, just just uh, you can say brute force problem in which you have to uh, make uh, a string uh, uh, such that the first element is zero. Uh, sorry, um, you have to make a uh, array in which the first element is zero. Then what you can do is you can just add a number x or you can subtract a number y in the upcoming elements. Uh, by doing this you have to consider one thing that uh, no element should be greater than b. All the elements should be less than or equal to b. Fine. So this is what you have to check. So this is a brute force means you have to just add x up to uh, when till when ai is less than b and when ai is greater than b. Uh, if in the next operation uh, ai is becoming greater than b, then you have to subtract y. This is a very simple brute force solution. You can check it here. Okay, you can simply check it here. Uh, here it is that uh, initially a is 0, then I am adding x in the case if a, a plus x is less than or equal to b. Otherwise, I am subtracting y and then I am adding that all the elements of the array in a particular sum s and then I am outputting the sum. This is a really easy brute force problem and you can see that the submission of the first and second problem are uh, nearly equal because these both the problems are basically uh, you can say of same level 800 or 900. Fine. This problem was uh, maybe a level of just 1200. I don't think that uh, more than that maybe 1300 and this is a uh, really tough problem. You can say that uh, of 1600 rating. Fine. So yeah, uh, I hope that uh, the video is helpful for you and you understand the problems. If you have any doubt, you can just comment down. You can join a Telegram. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it. You can connect with me on LinkedIn also. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.